I'm whispering because my bird's still asleep. My dad is still asleep. Tyler is awake. He's just getting ready for work. The man wakes up at this hour every every morning. I'm thinking to myself, how? How does he do that? Because I'm struggling. I faked in last night, so I need to go and wash that off. I also need to wash my hair. It's hair wash day. She's nasty. But like, do I do that at 5.30 in the morning? I really don't know what I'm doing right now. It's currently dark outside. Like, there's no light out there whatsoever. There's still an hour until the sun comes up. I feel like I need the sun to thrive. Like, what am I doing right now? Like, I'm awake because I kind of prepared myself for this moment. I was like, yes, I'm going to wake up at five. It's going to happen. Like, I kind of mentally prepared myself for it. So I'm awake right now. But the hardest thing is getting out of bed because it's so cold. Like, I'm actually cold right now. And my warm bed is telling me, like, not to move. And I'm okay with that. I'm like, yeah, sure. I'm not getting out of the bed. That's fine. I feel like I'm way too talkative right now. But I think that's honestly the best thing to do because I don't know what else to do. Like, I'm not hungry for breakfast. I can't go outside walking because it's dark. I think I might just have a shower to wake me up. Yeah, okay, let's go have a shower. Whoa, I look like a ghost. I'm going to brush my teeth as well because I feel so like... Okay, I'm going to do that. <laughs> already feeling so much better but the problem is i spent like another 20 minutes just rotating like a rotisserie chicken in that shower like it just felt so good like the warmth just opened me up i'm actually kind of starving like now that i've woke myself up with a shower i feel like i need something to eat right now i think i'm gonna go make myself just a little bit of breakfast and then hopefully by the time that's all done i can dry my hair i don't want to dry my hair straight away because it's so damp i like to like have it at least 80 percent dry with the towel before i blow dry it if that makes sense <laughs> last night and i'm so proud of it it's doing so well so i thought i'd sit down and reply to the comments because i love talking to you guys it's like my favorite thing in the world it's currently 6 21 and the sun is slowly coming up i love watching the sky turn all these pretty colors and then into this beautiful vibrant blue that's if it's a beautiful day today i don't know i haven't really been outside i didn't see a cloud though when i looked out the window but yeah my hair is gonna take a while to naturally dry before i blow dry it so i'm just gonna sit on my laptop for a bit earrings sticking out Ew, that's so weird i do not like that at all i don't feel like overly tired and i didn't even get a good night's sleep last night like i got like five hours of sleep and i think my body likes that more if i sleep a full eight hours i feel like pure sh so considering i had five hours of sleep last night i'm feeling pretty good but that will soon kick in <laughs> Don't skip, this is not a sponsorship, I promise. I promise. Charlie and I just wanted to let you know. Um, Never mind. I just wanted to let you guys know that I have opened up a Patreon. Oh my God. I'm actually super excited about this. And if you guys don't know what Patreon is, basically it is a one-way ticket to being my bestie. Patreon is going to be another way that you guys can support me in a tiny little way, whether it's a dollar every month, $5, $10. It's just another way for you guys to support me and also help me create these videos that you love. Plus you'll also be getting some exclusive content. Not in the OnlyFans kind of way. No hate to that, but I, could not do that. A lot of things that I cut out of my videos, you guys are gonna see. You guys will be getting bird content, whether it's videos or snaps or just anything in general bird related, you will be getting, absolutely. You'll be sick of them by the end of this. You'll be like, get rid of the birds. There will also be an exclusive Patreon group chat for the besties out there. We're gonna be besties in the group chat. I cannot wait. You will have full access to me. Ugh. You guys will also be able to see my YouTube videos before they actually come out. You'll be a little bit earlier than the other girls. 
and there will be so many more benefits later on like live streaming and drawing your pets but for now it is purely just a little donation to support me a little bit further if you want to and by all means you do not have to do this you are not obligated to do this especially if you are already in financial hardship like don't dig that hole any further okay like do not do that but if you do have the spare dollar or five dollars or ten dollars a month then you are more than welcome to come and join me bestie over on patreon and we're gonna have the best time ever so yeah that's all i wanted to say thank you guys so much always for the endless support your likes comments support and watching my videos is already so so much to me this is just a little bit of a bonus a little bit of icing on the cake as well as becoming with me i really hope you guys are enjoying this video and i will see you down in the comments or over on my patreon <laughs>
and really hungry. I haven't worn makeup in the last couple of days and I'm feeling kind of like impostery. Like who the fuck is this right now? That motherfucker back there is not real. Yeah, I'm just kind of rambling on because I haven't really got a script for this video. The script for this video was just wake up at 5 a.m. That's it. So we're kind of raw dogging this video and I'm a little bit scared for that. That guy is whippersnippering hard. Where the fuck are they? This man lives and breathes whippersnippering. I'm gonna turn this into a montage because whippersnipper is going hectic. Wait. sisters they're not twins they are fucking enemies they hate each other why i literally hate these with my whole entire heart Whoa. one eternity later i'm not even kidding when i say that i have done my eyebrows three times and this is honestly the best we're getting but i think i'm gonna go for a little walkies now and get a juice i'm really throffing this little juice bar nearby and i love going there they have this like mint watermelon juice that i'm obsessed with. I really want to get the juice. Hopefully they have it. Fingers crossed. I also want to go down and get Tyler a juice as well because I feel, you know, he woke up the same time as me this morning. You know, I'm on the same level as him today and I'm feeling sluggish even after my coffee. I feel like I just need like a little pick me up. I think one of my AirPods is working. This one is fine. This one is not working. That's how my day is going so far. I don't know if waking up at five is honestly worth it if, with all these things happening, like my eyebrows, my AirPods, I'm just- You're done. It's so windy. I can't even like hold my hat on. I'm scared it's gonna run away. It's not as cold as I thought it was, but like it's still nippy. It's been a very long time since I've actually gone for a walk by myself. I usually go for a walk with Tyler or with my mom or with a friend, but today it's just me, myself and I, and it feels really nice. Aside from my one AirPod incident and how cold it is, it's actually really nice and it really helps the mental health. Like we don't think it does, but it feels so good. I'm already out of breath though, that's the problem. These freaking whippersnippers, man, I'm over them. <laughs> I'm gonna drop them. So the juice that I picked out kind of looks gross. I'm not too sure about it. This looks so foul. It looks disgusting, but it tastes really good. Like maybe it was a little gross. I threw it out. Okay, I'm home. I've been home for like 20 minutes. I've just been chilling in my bed because my phone is flat. She needs a charge. But I'm kind of sitting here contemplating on what to do because I've got the midday slumpies. It's currently 10.44. So it's not even midday. What am I saying? Okay, I fixed my slumpiness. I came outside. I started journaling. And I'm sitting in my hammock. We bought a hammock for our one tree in the backyard. And honestly, it's a vibe. Although I get really bad motion sickness, so I'm kind of just like. I thought I'd share my thoughts on waking up at 5 a.m. is worth it or not. Like, did I just waste my time? Probably. I did a bit of research and I looked up the benefits of waking up at 5 a.m. Like, why do people want to do it? What's the big deal? So apparently it makes you more productive, which I do agree with. Like, I do feel productive today. Uh, number two, you have a better mood. I do agree with that as well because honestly, I get quite frustrated with myself because I want to do all these things in the day and I end up running out of time and it just puts me in a bad mood. So I do agree with that. I mean, I don't know if it's because I woke up at 5 a.m., but I am in a better mood. I'm also so sorry about the bird noise I live in Australia. I hope you can understand. Number three, better sleep. I don't know about that yet, but I honestly don't see why not. Like, I could sleep in this hammock right now, motion sick and all. 12 seconds later. I gotta get off this hammock. I'm gonna die. I'm back inside feeling a little bit better. Number four, boosting mental health. I don't know. Do I feel less anxious? Maybe. Seasonal depression gone maybe i am cured who honestly knows feels like you've got more time in the day which technically you do like it's no lie there <laughs> you do have more time in the day because you woke up so goddamn early you don't know what to do with yourself and number six you have more control within your day and that is very true i feel like time is not slipping away as easily as it does like, like sometimes i wake up and i just feel like i don't have enough time in the day and i start stressing because i'm like oh my god how am i going to finish all these things but like today i've already done most of the things that i was worrying about i just have to do like two more things and that's easy Film a real film YouTube video. Like surprisingly, 
this is working out for me and I really like it. But I don't think I'm going to be a 5 a.m. girly. Like, I don't think I can do that. I think I am a 7 a.m. girly, maybe a 6 a.m. girly. I could do that. Why did I sit in the hammock? I'm literally regretting that. I feel like mush right now. I don't want to get up now. So my conclusion is, I think waking up at 5 a.m. is a really good thing, but if you don't have to do it, then don't worry about it. Everyone's different. Everyone's routines are different. Like if you're a night owl, waking up at 5 a.m. is probably not going to be good for you. But if you have like a nine to five and you find that you don't have enough time in your day, waking up at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. could definitely benefit you. But I feel like I would feel the same if I woke up at 7 a.m. and did everything too. Depending on your schedule, it's either going to work for you or it's not so definitely try it once see how you go but personally for me i think i'm gonna go back to waking up at 7 a.m i might nap i might not nap who knows what i'm gonna do it's a mystery and i mean i woke up at 5 a.m so it's okay i'm a productive galley i'm allowed to have a nap at lunchtime like a dad you know <gasps> What do you mean? Like, my dad literally wakes up so freaking early and he'll be asleep on the couch by lunchtime. I'm literally a dad. What the fuck? Congrats to me, I guess. I just thought I'd keep you updated, let you know that I'm in bed and I'm doing great. <laughs>